The wastewater treatment plant in Neugut serves over 100,000 people living in Dubendorf, Dietlikan, and Balasela. Once the water has been cleaned, it flows back into the river Glatt, which, at low water levels, contains over 20% treated wastewater. In spite of the high quality purification process, there is still a great deal of micropollution, which is the reason that the plant was fitted with ozone technology in 2014, the first of its kind in Switzerland. Behind this door is where the process takes place. The ozone flows through these plates into the wastewater and oxidizes the pollutants. The problem is this can lead to certain undesirable byproducts. With the help of these fish, a team from the AVAG EPFL Ecotoxicology Center is testing how well certain extra measures can eliminate these byproducts. To supplement the sand filter that follows Neugut's ozone treatment, additional processing technologies are being investigated, such as a fluidized bed and a filter with granular activated carbon. Cornelia Keenle who is in charge of the testing, explains what is being done here. What we have here are three months old rainbow trout from a fish farm. We're investigating the effects of wastewater that has been treated in different ways to see how the fish develop and survive. We have raised them from the embryo stage through the larva feeding off their yolk sac to the young fish. Und dann haben wir jetzt ähm, sie aufgezogen von den Embryonen über die Larven, die sich noch vom Dottersack ernähren, bis zu jungen Fischen. Bei den, ähm, in the case of the eggs, we observed a slightly reduced survival rate in wastewater that had been treated with ozone in comparison to the clean control water. These effects disappeared after the supplementary treatment. One important observation stage is when the fry swim upwards to the surface to fill their swim bladders with air for the first time and to look for food. Using the results of the ecotoxicological bio testing and the measurements of organic trace substances, we hope to assess which additional treatments are suitable for deploying after ozonation. After that, we plan to come up with a recommendation for wastewater treatment plant operators.